Hello YouTubers. I'm coming to you today to show you how I make my fabric flowers from um, scrap uh, sewing projects. Uh, what you'll need is your ruler, your rotary cutter, and I have a, a cutting mat. Or if you don't have those, regular scissors will do. You'll also need a glue gun. So um, you can make the size, any size that you want. I'm going to go with two and a half inches uh, for this one. And just in case it's not long enough, I'll go ahead and cut two. So sometimes it doesn't cut all the way through and I just kind of go back and do this. To me, I don't feel like this is anything that has to be really perfect. So let me go ahead and cut the set, second one. I'll line it up on the edge here and then I'll measure it out two and a half inches on the next one. And then I'll cut. I hope that you can see everything well enough here. Sliding a little bit. Well, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. And the fabric that I'm using is this nice um, lip pattern. So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the edges to straighten them up a little bit. I'm just going to use my scissors for that. And just cut the edges a little bit. Like I said, nothing has to be really perfect, I don't think. I think that just adds character when it's not. See, this end is kind of really not straight. So just kind of snipping it there. All right. And then what I'll do to get started is I will take the end here, the uh, back side, and I will fold the front side, the good side that you want to be shown, down onto it and make this triangle here. Hope that you can see that okay. And then what I'll do is take that little tip and fold it down like this. Usually I will put a dot of glue here, so I'm going to do that now. Just a little dot of glue. Just to hold that in place. See? Like that. Okay? Then, after that, I will it's going to be a little difficult for me because I'm at a bad angle here. I will start folding it. Like this. And then I'll take this little tip and I'll Fold it backwards, like that. Fold it again. See how it's starting to make a little, little rosette there? Let me put a little glue back there. And I'm just going to randomly put glue behind it to kind of help hold it together. Now, you'll notice here that a lot of times it ends up where the back side is kind of showing instead of your front side. Well, you kind of got to manipulate it a little bit to kind of keep that from happening. Or, in the very beginning, you can um, fold your fabric in half where it's only the good side showing. And then um, work from there. Okay? And you'll keep going. You see here how this, uh, as I call the good side, the front side, is back out there again and then I'll keep working around folding back turning folding back turning hope I'm able to show it hope I'm trying to get it to where you see it folding back and turning I'm gonna put a little glue in there just as you go Randomly put your glue on there. Fold it back. Turn it. Fold it back. Turn it. Fold it back. I know I keep repeating that, but I'm, I'm hoping that I, I'm being pretty plain here when I explain this. Fold it back. Turn it some more, fold it back. See how that's starting to look like a flower there? 
and I keep going. Fold it back, turn, and speed up just a little bit for time's sake. And put a little bit back there, a little bit of glue. And I'll fold it back, fold it back, keep turning, fold it back. Now, see the flower I have there? I'll put a little glue back there to hold it in place. And the back looks like this. And I'm going to put a little glue underneath that little flip there. Like that. One more. Just to hold it there. Now, this is what it ends up. Now, if I were going to continue on, I would take this other piece and I would just start it off right where I left off and then I'll keep going around and around just the way we just did it and then it'll get bigger and bigger keep going around but just pretend I've glued that on and keep going around just like we did earlier and around and you see how it's getting bigger now just imagine that that's glued back here though. And then around and around. Now let me repeat, this will normally be glued. I'm just trying to save on time here so that the video isn't quite so long. But you see how it's just flourishing into a nice big bow here. See, it'll end up a nice big bow and it's got lips on the pattern. I always love this fabric here so it's nice making it into something now. With this being fabric you could take this and put it on clothing, your hair, hair pins, hair barrettes, headbands, shoes like if you're making uh, I make uh, booties and moccasins that I mention a lot of time in some, some of my other videos. Um, you can pretty much put it on anything. That's why I'm kind of leaving it small because a lot of my things are for uh, infants. So I, I tend to kind of leave them small. I'm going to go ahead and put glue back here to finish it off. Because like I said, I'm leaving it small. I just wanted to show you what it was going to look like if I had added, you know, added the rest and made it bigger. Just in case you're having to scrap pieces together. Okay, so I'll show you some more that I've made as well. I have this big container full of bows, just like the one I've just made. And I just kind of stick them in there. I uh, at one time had them <laughs> where it was the smaller ones in one area. And then I went to the bigger ones here, like this one. It's kind of a... Uh, a uh, batik uh, pattern on this fabric here. You see how I have that? You can even make some type of flower arrangement with these. It's so much you can do with them. This one has uh, soccer balls on it, and I've stuck a button in the middle. Um, this one has flowers. I have some little shoes that matches this one. Um, how about leopard print or ze <laughs> zebra print? And it's got a button in the center of it. Flowers. Flowers. Uh, this one is either volleyballs or soccer balls. I can't remember exactly. I'm trying to see. That's soccer ball, I think. I have a volleyball one here somewhere. Uh, here's Dora. I got a little butterfly down in the center of that one. Mm, polka dot. And can you imagine some of these going across a headband all across the top of it? Um, I have here in my shop some already made headbands. And for, I don't know why I didn't bring them over. This one here says Girl Power. And it is a, um, it's a satin. And I made this out of, uh, I made a running stitch along the satin there and then pulled it. That's what made it ripple like this. And then I put it together here. And stuck a button in the middle and a little 
Cristo and some um, tooling on the back. But it's so much you can do. This one here, let's see. This one has feathers on it. It goes on and on and on. Uh, where, here, this might be the volleyball one I was talking about. Yeah, I think it is. Pink with volleyball. Can you imagine a um, girls volleyball team on a team on a game day being able to wear this around school? That's pretty neat. This one is made from ribbon. You take ribbon and and start it off just like I showed you earlier, and go around and around and around. And then stick something in the middle. Uh, this, this one says, and you know what? This says it's a girl. Now, I don't think a baby could wear one this big. But what if the mom had this on for her baby shower? Or it could even go on top of a gift. Like I said, possibilities are endless on what you can do with these. How about this one? It's got feathers on it. How about that on some clothing? On a handbag. These are nice on purses. Well, I think that's all I have for you today. And once again, please subscribe, post a comment, and even recommend some things that you'd like to see me make. I have a lot of ideas and quite a few things that I make. Or if you'd like to purchase anything, you can uh, leave a comment for that as well. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.